Figurehead of feminism, true history, for equality, title, bring me the snowflake's head. Figurehead, us British love tea and custard creams. People wonder why us British love the Queen. And please bear with me on this. Well, it all started with a dream, a speech that did genuinely seek to teach equality, to transform the polity of that time, Hithero, the first Queen Elizabeth, a feminist. This is why the guns have never been fired by the English Bolshevist. Why? Because the right of only men to be ruler of England finally did desist. The right of only men to be ruler of England finally did desist. And of course, gender inequality continued to persist. Although, finally, people with dreams of equality and bigots in society were allowed to coexist. The former had been subjugated since the times of Rome when Boudicca lost her throne. And in the time of our good Queen Lizzie, even people of colour in the palace courts did roam. Although it would take until 1833 for the scourge of slavery to end and these people to be free. In England, my home. Although, interestingly enough, the Great Reform Act of 1832 allowed women to vote, but they were few. Before the working class man. If you are not yet warming to the reasons that I and many British feminists are a fan of our queens, then you are either a snowflake or a hypocrite and need to take a seat and sit in front of the mirror and listen to yourself. You've become what you detest. You've allowed the moral imperative to infest your outlook. You don't need to read a history book to realize that a woman leading man in a world of patriarchy is an achievement for women's rights. And remember, I said, bear with me. And by the by, I flipping love Withering Heights, and Mary Wollstonecraft Craft takes literary genius to new heights, and I hate supremacists of any kind, black, female or whites, and I hate people who use the word kites. Jews are not vermin, Christians, did you not hear the sermon, even Jesus was a Jew. So don't flipping persecute me just because I'm a man, not a woman talking about feminism. I'd be there with them right now starving in prison for my queen, Lizzie. Suffering as a suffragette, not because I'm a woman, because I'll never flipping forget equality and my queen. So heckle me with all the words that are obscene. But Queen Elizabeth, she had a dream. And if you want to talk about Martin Luther King Jr., yeah, that's also my scene. He is a hero of mine, but right now, at this time, I'm talking about feminism. You flipping snowflake, unless you're smiling and are not vexed because you recently read some of the words of Malcolm X. And by this time, the judgmental wish they had, hindsight and retrospect as they realize I, as a brown-haired boy in Europe, have some reason to be vexed. I'm not a blue-eyed, blonde-haired bimbo giggling at a racist text, and most of you should expect what comes next. Eight million died in that genocide, in Nazi Germany, and in the US, Jews too were in for the ride when the KKK rolled up with their wicked side. The point is, superiority never wins, because we are all flipping different and all have sinned. And so you wonder why British love the Queen. Because it screams 
equality. So, if you think you can rewrite history like Ptolemy, well, you flipping cannot, because we are not amused. And if I had to choose between queen and country and selling out at a hollow cost to agree with another white man that we are boss, you are so flipping wrong. I have scars on my face and I will still sing redemption song. Wigger, please, is often said with smiles and a patronizing pat on the back. Cause pigment in my face I lack, but there are people in my family that are black and I would take the head off any of you. Which brings me back to the point of this poem. And if you are still listening, then my love for you will be ever flowing and you are so immensely and it intensely appreciated. Cause if you have curiosity for passion, love and equality, then you're solid with me brother, or sister, or any pronoun you want. Don't flipping let the snowflakes haunt this topic about my queen. So, you wonder why we British love the queen. When, why we discuss her with passion and love over tea and custard creams with our goofy teeth. Well, cause for equality we would send you six foot beneath. For our heritage hath bequeathed a woman to rule over a world of men. So, listen to the message our queens send to a world where equality was condemned. It doesn't matter if you are a woman Black, white, Chinese, Indian, my hand is hemmed because you are human and the world is my ends. I'm from the hood and this spoken word poem is soon to end. And I'm truly sorry it was never my t t intention to offend. My brothers and sisters of this place I call home, Earth. And if in this poem you unearth the equality in your soul, then slap on Bob Marley and maybe some soul. Because he was a victim of racism from both sides, stood up for equality and almost died. Just like the people at Tilbury. The people who listened to my Queen's address. And here it is. <clears throat> I may have the body of a weak, feeble woman, but I have the heart and stomach of a king, and of a king of England too, and think foul scorn that Palmer or Spain or any prince of Europe should dare to invade the borders of my realm, to which rather than any dishonour shall grow by me, I myself will take up arms, I myself will be your general, judge and rewarder of everyone of your virtues in the field. And across the realm, acceptance was her yield. Because a woman would rule over men in a world of patriarchy. So, flipping join me when I say, God save the Queen. God save the Queen. God save the Queen. Or off with your head. Guess it's time to drop the mic. If anyone ever said I'm a gentleman, it is flipping not because I wear a trilby. It's because I listen to my Queen at Tilbury. <laughs>